Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we'll be exploring Portland, Oregon. Hey there guys, so we just got here from the airport. Uh, I'm right here at Union Square as you can see. Uh, I'm not over there just because it's raining. I'm here taking cover under this little roof right here. Anyways you guys, today's been a quite a long day. We had to wake up around 3 a.m. in uh, San Francisco to make it here by 7 and right now it's around 10. It's about to be 10. So we've been up for a little while and uh, we're hungry. We haven't had breakfast. So that's the first point of business. The goal of this video is to have like the Portland experience in one day. Uh, we're gonna be visiting different places. We're gonna be eating uh, different food, especially breakfast, coffee, and other things. Trying different things and taking you guys along with us. So if you guys are interested, come with us. So we're here in Pioneer Square and this was not even the plan, but we see a lot of uh, food trucks right here. So we're gonna see if we find something. If not, we're gonna go to a restaurant. We were honestly not very impressed with the food trucks right here. So we're gonna look for a restaurant now. Uh, it's starting to rain again. <laughs> Good thing we brought our umbrellas because it rains super randomly over here. We'll have to get used to it as the day goes by. Guys, it hasn't even been like a minute uh, that I made that other clip. And I already have to put my umbrella away because it stopped raining. It's so crazy. It, like rains, comes back and leaves. So we already found the place we're going to. Um, it's a restaurant close by Voodoo Donut. It's actually called uh, Mother's Bistro and Bar. And uh, we're gonna have breakfast there. After that, we're gonna look for a coffee place. But I mean, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. First, let's get some breakfast. We're still walking in the rain. We're spotting more food trucks. But we're committed, we're going to this place. So we made it here to Mother's Bistro and Bar. I'm going in and we're gonna verify, we're gonna check if the reviews we saw online were correct. So we made our decision guys. We're actually both getting the same thing. And I'm also thinking of getting the Belgian waffle. I never had one, so it will be cool to try it. So I got two eggs sunny side up and the two biscuits right there. You can see they look delicious. And uh, some people have ketchup and other people have salsa but I say why not both I always do this when I come to places like this I like to live on the edge and this is how I left the plate it was so good guys so we just finished our breakfast guys that was so good I strongly recommend we purposely didn't have any coffee or any like sweets or anything like that just because we wanted to go to a different place and right now we're looking across the street as you can see I don't know if you can really tell because there's like the construction machine there, but uh, it's Stump Town Coffee Roaster. So we're gonna go there and get a coffee. I've never been there, so let's see what they have. We're here at Stump Town. We're just gonna get a coffee and step out. I think we're also gonna go check out Voodoo Donuts, which is right across the corner. It's so crazy how these three things are so close to each other. I got my cold brew, guys. I already tasted it. It's really good. Right now, we're gonna head out and get some donuts. The next stop we're going to is Voodoo Donuts, right over there. Yes, we're here at Voodoo Donut. This is a, a staple of Portland. I think they have like a few around the country. I've been to this one and the one in Austin. And let me tell you, I love this place. So we're here sitting outside. We got our donuts. You get this very cool box. It looks like it's something that you would take home as like a souvenir or something, but it's just a box. And once you dig in, you can see your donuts. There they are. I got the sprinkles. This is the Portland cream. And my girlfriend got, got the Wawa Colada. So we're going to try them and see how they taste. These donuts are so good. I don't know what they put in them, but they're amazing. Mm. Sprinkles. One of the best things ever. 10 out of 10. Another donut that I got is called the uh, Portland Cream. This is another of the classics and it's so delicious, guys. 
I barely got to the cream just because it's like right at the middle, you can see. So I took like four bites and I couldn't get to it, but I finally got to it and it's delicious. There's also a sign right here for Key Portland Weird. We want to take a picture there, but right now there's some things on the way, so we want to wait until that thing is a little bit more uncovered. But before any of that, uh, what we want to do right now, first of all, is going to the drugstore and getting some headache pills. We haven't slept. We slept like three hours and uh, we ate super late, so my head hurts really bad. Um, so after that, we'll do other things, but for now, we're going to chill for a bit. And after a little delay you guys we're back here um, voodoo donut is right over there and as you can see behind me is the keep portland rear like mural wall that is so famous online people just come here and take pictures right in front of it that's the thing to do here so that's what we're doing here today we're gonna take a few shots in front of this mural the next spot we're going to since we're already in this area of town we decided to go to the white stack it's the uh famous sign of portland uh with like the little deer jumping or whatever uh we're gonna go ahead and take a look we actually want to see it at night but since we're already here might as well go and take a look and see how it looks at this particular time of day back we finally made it here to the white stag sign here in portland i'm gonna show it to you i don't know if you can't see it because it's so bright but it's there it's right behind me so this is how it looks when you focus on it let me zoom a little bit so you can see it better but yes this is a sign a really famous sign a lot of people come here to take pictures of it and i think it will look even cooler at night but uh, i was telling my girlfriend that it does not look like a safe area, so I'm sure that at night it'd be even more sketchy. So it's good that we came at this time, at least to take some pictures of it. Right now we're done. I think though, we're here in the bottom looking up at the sign and we kind of wanted to get like a view from over the bridge, but there's some construction going on over there. So we couldn't do that. But our next goal is to go, try to go upstairs and get a better shot from up the street. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that, but we'll try. So we were right, there was construction going on, but we didn't see that there was a path right here where people and bikers can go through. So that was our mistake, but now we're here. And look at this. This is an even better view than we had at the bottom. The only bad thing is this fence. But I mean, you can kind of get around if you go through like, the, like one of these little holes, or if you just, take the camera like a little bit above the height of the fence boom that is exactly what i wanted to see look at this beauty you guys looks so nice so there it is you guys the white stack sign here in portland just over this fence but we made it check mark let's go to the next place Hey there you guys, we were walking for a long time but finally we made it here to Powell's Bookstore This is a really famous bookstore here in Portland An iconic location here in the city and we're gonna check it out This uh, bookstore is a whole block There's like an area for shopping merchandise and books and also an area to, for reading and stuff I haven't been here in a long time so it's gonna be cool experiencing it and uh, exploring it once again Come on! last room this is the rare book section and you actually need to get a pass so you get this pass 
And then you get to go in here. Let's see what we can find. So we just came out of the bookstore. It was such a great experience, you guys. My girlfriend and I spent there like three hours or even a little longer. It has to be one of the my favorite things that we've done today and we've done a lot of things. I think it was my favorite just because it, it like inspires you. We, we didn't even buy anything, but just looking at all the things that you can learn, it, it kind of like reminds you of if you're interested interested in something you can search information and you could learn it you know if it's a passion of yours or if it's a career that you want to get into it doesn't matter information is out there and I don't know it's so powerful like it inspired us to look at, at our library the public library and check out books related to the things that we want to learn about or just inspire us to start this is something that I would really recommend this bookstore is so huge they have like three floors and they all have like different sections so it, it's a lot of stuff uh, that they pack in there it was really interesting strongly strongly recommend Today was such a fun day. We got to do a bunch of stuff and uh, we can't wait for tomorrow because we have a lot of great things planned uh, for the coming few days. Uh, this is a week long vacation for me. So I'll be doing uh, different videos on the different things that I get to experience while I'm here. So if you guys are interested in that, please go ahead and stay tuned to the channel. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. It was a blast having you guys along in this little adventure. And I can't wait for you guys to follow along in the next few days. Always remember to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.